Good morning, lovely people. How are we all doing today? Uh, Sue's, Sue's here, Sue Humphreys um, from Sue Humphreys Designs. And um, yeah, just popping on to do a little bit of uh, messy mixed media with you this morning. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a, a mixed media artist. Um, I'm also a teacher and designer. I run lots of classes on my page um, and I'll show you a couple of bits later on if you're interested. Um, I currently work for the Creative Expressions team. I'm on their TV demonstrator team. I'm really, really lucky to have um, been doing that for almost a year now, which is great fun. Having a little break at the moment because I've got lots of stuff going on at home and having to do a house clearance and things. So um, I'll be back with you soon. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do an MDF book cover. And I'll show you a little bit um, more about what we're aiming for. So it's something like this. And... Um, it's really to show you how to decorate this thing. Now, what I might try and do, because this is such a big project, I'm actually going to try. <laughs> I thought I'd avoided all this, all the camera wobble. I'm going to come up a little bit so that hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more. How's that? Can you see that? Okay. And I'll, I'll move it around so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Okay. So this is the kind of thing we're aiming for. A little bit of paint, a little bit of stickles. Anybody heard of these little stickly things? These are pretty cool. Hi Jane. Hi Joan. Morning. Um, I absolutely love these. These are new to me. I'm sure most people in the world probably know about these, but these were new to me. Anyway, so we're going to have a little bit of fun, do a bit of painting. I'm going to be wielding my trusty brayer. Um, not with a gel plate this time. You know how much I love my gel plate. Woohoo! But with a brayer. So, uh, let's move these bits and pieces out of the way. Just wanted to give you a flavour of what I'll be using. Going to start off with some chalky paints and I'm going to be okay. This is this is quite a big, it's a whopper, isn't it? Really, it's a whopper. Now, if you like me, if you like your journaling, I journal in so many different ways. I've got those books, I've got um, all sorts of things, but I do like making my own journals. Um, and this is an A4. I must try and I've got I've got to lift this up a bit more. I'm sorry, girls. I am looking into um, getting a better arm for doing my Facebook lives because this one is it, it tends to try and switch my phone off, <laughs> which is probably a sign. Get off, get off our screens, right? So this is quite a big um, journal cover. The reason that this is quite a good way of doing it, if you like your journaling, or if you like, uh, you know, if you're an organised person and you like keeping swatches and things, let me let me craft and talk. Boring, boring. Um, it's quite nice to have something solid like this to keep bits and pieces in, and because it's um, a ring binder effect, uh, what that means is that um, it will keep them fairly flat if you're sort of put them on the bookshelf or whatever um you know it's it's a good way of protecting either your artwork or if you're using um if you like to just keep samples swatches of your paints and your colors and some of you out there are, i know are very very impressively organized unlike me I'm going to add in a little bit of white. So these are actually um, Andy Skinner paints. Um, this is his range of paints, bless him. And this one's called Ocean Breeze. Oh, I miss the ocean. I shouldn't use that because that just makes me sad. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Nothing makes me sad. We'll get there again. Okay, put on a little bit of white. And just blending those in. He's a kind of, um, his, his range of chalky paints are quite vintage actually, which is quite nice. And I'm not worried, I quite like a bit of texture, so if I don't cover the whole thing, it's not going to keep me awake at night. Art isn't meant to be scary, it's not meant to be stressful, it's meant to relax you, isn't it? So, oh, oh, I'm having fun with this. I do like getting my grey out. There you go, I'm doing the bottom bit now. I'm sorry my camera's not higher, but then if it was higher, you wouldn't be able to see what's going on, would you? There you go. Alrighty, so. That'll do. 
it didn't take long, did it? And grey board is actually, um, MDF is quite um, a porous surface, so that's why I gave it a little spritz with water to start with, because um, a porous surface and chalk paints uh, could mean that you don't get an easy coverage, you know, it might just sink in really quickly. But giving it a little bit of spritz of water just helps it all move around. So I've got that. I'm going to give that a little bit of a, a zippy zappy with my heat gun. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jane. It's uh, morning, Jan. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, beg your pardon, darling. Um, yeah, I'm doing this um, journal cover. I don't normally do this this colour. I tend to normally go for yellows and things when I'm doing journal covers. Um, let's have a look. Oh, hey, wee! So this is the colour I did. When I did the Create and Craft show at the end of January, these are the colours I used, which were lovely. But I just wanted to do something a bit different. Um, cool, calm, that's the thing. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get some little stencils out now. I've got a really nice selection of stencils here. And I'm automatically drawn to those and the heart. Always drawn to those. So I thought, right, well, not using those. I'll use these. <laughs> because <laughs> why not do something that kind of challenges you a little bit? So I'll get this one out to start with. This these are these are scattered diamonds. Shine bright like a okay, so I'm gonna get my sponge out now. Um, they actually make a range of sponges in Creative Expressions, but what I tend to do is um, when I've I've got my um, washing up sponges, when they get past their best, I pop them in the dishwasher so they're nice and clean, and then I, I chop them up and use them for my sponging. Okay, so let's do... Should we do jaunty angles? No, let's not. I quite like them like that. So I'm going through with the neat paint. I've added um, this, um, what's it called? Ocean something, uh, ocean breeze and the, the warm white together. So that's obviously going to be slightly lighter. So I got, if I go in with the neat color, the neat ocean breeze, then we should get a slightly darker version. And you can darken this up, can't you? With a uh, little bit of black if you wanted to. Let's keep it soft for now. Soft. I was going to say soft and fluffy, but there's not much fluffy. Hi, Julia. Not much fluffy about <laughs> chalky finished paints, is there really? Right, we're going. We're moving now. We're moving now, people. Subtle, isn't it? But I'll show you how to bring that out. You all know this anyway. You've probably been watching all these fabulous demonstrators on here all these weeks. Um, I'm learning more than I can show you, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> I have to admit, I, I don't watch a lot of the demos on the channel, not because I don't want to, because you, the people that come on are absolutely brilliant and I love them. I know some of the people that come on and do lives here as well. But I'm always frightened that if I watch other people doing stuff, you know, they might, if I then do something similar, they might think I've copied them, which which is okay in the normal things. That's what That's why we do it, so you can... Um, you know, take what we do and either copy it or adapt it yourselves. But it's not good when you're when you're teaching. You don't want people to think that you are little Miss Copycat. So I don't watch. <laughs> I probably should. I'd probably be a lot better if I did. Right. So just giving my stencil a little clean up. And all I did was I just spritzed that with a bit of water because these are water-based paints. And super easy clean up. So that's that one done, and I'm going to give him a little, little dry as well. These chalky finish paints dry so quickly, anyway. Oh, thank you, Jane, darling. Yeah, you're right, Julie. Lots of ideas recycled. That's the thing. I mean, when I when I first started, I hope you can hear me over the heat gun. You know, when I first started out in mixed media back in 2012, 2013, I, I went to classes. That's how I learned. 
um, and I was really lucky to actually go. <laughs> Do you remember those days when we could go to classes and actually see people, hug them? Um, yeah, I, went, I was really lucky because I managed to get on classes with people like, well, obviously Andy Skinner, um, love his stuff. Um, and also I did a class with Tim Holtz, not name dropping or anything, but yeah. Um, the first mixed media class I ever did was with Diane Reevely. Absolutely love Illusions, Diane Reevely. You know, I went to a journal class with her. Oh my gosh, in love. That's when my love of journaling started. She is totes amaze balls with shiny brass knobs on. Okay, so what I'm going to use now is this stuff. Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, it is hi Beatrice. It is super shiny and it stickles. Stickles. Now, I've been using stickles for years, but they're always in those little um, bottles that you squeeze out. I didn't even know this existed. And look, I'll sh oh, I'm going to show you the others as well. Um, that's not even open yet. I must open that at some point. Um, hope the lighting's okay for you, peeps. <laughs> we'll get the lid off. <laughs> that's another one. It's a bit blingy. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, Veronica, I tell you, I can't wait. Morning, Karen. You're not late, darling. It took me it took me ten minutes to get going. Um, Rini, Rini, is that is that how you pronounce that? Rini, morning. And also this one. So this one, I should tell you the names, really, shouldn't I? This one's Nebula. Let's have a little look at Nebula. Oh, oh and that I tell you what, though, it looks a bit manky in there actually, but it dries beautiful. And it's got these little stars in it. Stars are coming out tonight stick that on there hey right so let's get on with that the one that i'm actually using is called what is it called uh, 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 uh. Oh, uh, asteroid so i guess they've all got kind of galactic names and so i'm just going to take my palette knife little flat palette knife look at that that isn't that loved could get that off but I just don't want to scoop a bit of that out it's like in a gel and then I'm just going to pop it down and squidge it through if I bring that down a little bit squidge it and it's like um a gel glitter with stuff in I'm gonna let that go come back take a little bit more of my nebula Never find that there are some words that for some reason you just keep saying them out loud. It's a funny look in Sainsbury's, that's for sure. That woman walking around saying nebula. <laughs> oh dear. They are, Karen. Eight are. Yeah, right. I'm looking up occasionally. Forgive me if I'm missing out because there's bits going on in between. Okay, let's lift off. <gasps> da da da! Okay, and I'm going to do that in a couple of other places. You could go with the rule of thirds or not. Um, I remember speaking to a lady who was a florist once, and I was talking about this rule of thirds. Thought I was really, you know, yeah, oh, totally, you know, like this whole rule of thirds thing. She was like, well, yeah, but actually the rule of thirds, it you have to have at least three, but even if you, if you start doing even numbers, it's okay, as long as you've got more than three, apparently. So it doesn't have to be odd numbers. It just should be more than three. So, it felt like someone was telling me to just break the rules. Which um, it's not a bad thing, is it? Breaking the rules, right, a little bit more. You don't need much. I mean, look. Look how much is... You could do this with your texture, paste and your... Whatever. Think about where you're doing it. I mean, uh, this is on the front cover. And also, I'm putting stuff in the middle, so I'm not going to waste my product in the middle because I'm going to put something else there. Um, but yeah, look, breaking the rule of thirds. I'm going for four. Don't care. Last too short. Do it. I don't like it. What do we do if we don't like it, people? Look how nicely that came out. Now, this stuff 
dries hard. So stick that in water or spritz it with water if you can't clean it straight away. Got a little bit left. So lid on. That's my that is one of my mantras. Lid on. Put your lid on, put your lid on. Otherwise things get ruined. And if they're water-based products and they're hard water-based products like oh I don't know. Uh, like your yeah, polishes and things like that. Um, maybe give them a spritz of water before you put your lid back on and that way you know that um, they're still going to be lovely and usable when you come back to them. That's me spritzing my stencil and just wiping off a bit of the nebula. Right. So going well um okay so that's where we are now lots of options here um i'm going to come in with one of my my, my pen just my pen set oh <laughs> come on who's got pen envy come on i tell you what, i love this set i am a pen collector i've got <laughs> can't tell you how many pens i've got I've got all the microns and little dots and I've got uh, Poscas and graphics and oh, Tombos. I love them all. I love them. I love uh, brush lettering and things like that. These are so good for a bit of colouring. But why? I mean, most of us, you know, that's mixed media addicts. We do tend to like a bit of white, don't we? So it's, you know, I'm not quite sure if this paint's dry. <laughs> And see how worried I am. You should always make sure your paint's dry. Come on, people. I don't want to ruin your stuff, do you? And just doing some scratching. I think this is probably one of the bits that I love the most is adding these little details. Nikki, you're not wrong. They the jelly rolls are addictive and they last really well. I've got literally got some in my drawer. I've got jelly rolls in my drawers that I've had for years. And I pick them up and they go. What you um, should be careful of is just making sure that um, when you press down, you are it's the weight of the pen, you're not pressing down. Because it's only a little ball in there. You know, it's tough. It's a tough little ball, but you don't want to be going, ur, ur, ur. you know, none of that. Just glide bit difficult for me because I am quite heavy handed. <gasps> Glide. I'm strictly back on. <laughs> yeah, I need a cream for something, that's for sure. Jelly roll down my pants. Oh, my drawers, no. <laughs> Not my pants. My husband split his trousers yesterday, which is quite, quite amusing. <sighs> we were going out for a walk and he... He put his leg up on a something high outside to do his laces up. <laughs> what was his reaction? Oh, no, no, no. A bit, bit of um, ventilation. So, yeah, we walked to the post office and we were in Mary Smith trousers. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jane, I, I, yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, I'm not one of those people that says you should, if you if you don't need it or if you're not going to use it, don't buy it. You know, don't don't take up all that space with things you're never going to use. But if you if you do use your stuff and you like your sketching and your doodling, then the gel pens are great fun. Now this is getting sketchy, and that's because I'm I'm using the side. Well, there's no ink on the side, so that's not going to work, is it? Hold your pen up a bit, and then it can release the ink. And, you know, this is a, this is a pretty textured surface. Plus, it's still a bit damp. So that's with the white. Now, what if... What if I come in with a black one? <gasps> Doodling, couldn't I? How 
would they look if you outlined them in black? Mm. I've never done this before, black and white together. I feel like I'm breaking boundaries this morning. Probably because it's budget day and, it's all, you know, who knows? Right, yeah, okay, so I'm going to finish off this last couple. If, I, I love the sketchy look, I really love the sketchy look. If you don't love the sketchy look and you like the neat look, put your stencil back over and go around with the stencil. You know, then you'll get nice, neat lines. But do be careful. You don't want to damage your nib. We'll turn this around a little bit so it's a bit easier for you to see. Hopefully you'll see a bit of sparkle go as it goes around. And easier for me to reach so I don't have to put my mucky sleeve all across the, um, the table. And which way up is it going? It's going to go that way up. So if I wanted to, I could add a few little dangles. Look, mixing black and white. <sighs> Lord, no, just no stopping me now. Make it all star. I'm making a mess of it now. Am I bothered? No. Because if I don't like it, I'll come back in with my little sponge and I'll just sponge over it. <laughs> a couple of coats of that could take it all back no nothing nothing lost just have a play do you like it yes don't you like it paint over it not a problem at all okay so uh the other thing that i thought about doing this journal cover because with it being um a ring binder let me just move this one out of the way that's sort of drying off a bit With this one that I did, my intention was to lay down my ribbon and what I would do is just have enough ribbon to go across the board and then do the same on the back and then you can tie it. So that way, if you've got bits that are a little bit loose inside, that, that's a really nice way of holding your book cover together. And I really do like this lace. What is this lace? Where did I just get that from? There's a packet. Black scallop. Jipor lace. I can't, that's not English. I can't even pronounce English, let alone any other language. Jipur. Jipur. I'm going to be saying that as well now. Um, so it's a bit, it's quite a thick lace. But what I found with this is you can actually snip into it. So you can you can cut along the top so you could just have one row of um, the lace or you could cut along here and just have a slightly more decorative. Anyway, lace, that's lace. So that's one way of um, securing your book and closing your book up. Okay, so. The middle bit. What I did there, excuse me leaning over, I've got various things that I've done here. Um, this is a sentiment I absolutely love. Positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. Uh, and I know that is easier said than done. When things are difficult or things are upsetting or hard, it's not easy to have a positive uh, mind. But... If you can go for a walk, or anyway, I'm not going to counsel people. You, you, I, know, I know life's tough, but I just like that mantra. If you can switch things up and change, you know, and become a bit more positive, it just helps you cope with things. So these stamps, um, Creative Expressions, have got um, quite a lot of journaling stamp sets. And they look tiny, but they're not. They, they, this is shrunk down, so that's very misleading. They're much bigger. And these have got so many cute little things. Don't look back, you're not going that way. I love that. Um, and this is where I've got positive mind, positive vibes, positive life from. It came from here. And there's little, oh, just little things, suitcases and 
happy floaty lifty things, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Now that is another, isn't that true, eh? Isn't that true? Um, but they're a good size, look at that. You wouldn't think from that, that little thing, trying to, trying to just have double the size. Right. And the other, and I love this one as well, I thought you guys might like this because this is quite art. This one's called Creative Journaling. The other set was called Beautiful Destinations. Beautiful Destinations. Um, creative Journaling. I thought you'd like this one because it's got all the brushes and um, paints, brushes, art. Leave some sparkle wherever you go. That, that is my mantra, definitely. And again, look at the size of the stamps to what's on the packaging huge a decent size you know and but also you do get some of these little titty ones which are great for just filling in <laughs> i'm chucking things to one side and i'm putting them on my wet stickles <laughs> that's all right no problem so yeah these are fun so um that was Positive Mind, Positive Vibes, and this one, change is the essence of life. Be willing to surrender what you are for what you can become. And I started colouring that in like I've done it here, but it's not blingy enough, is it? Don't we? I think we need a bit more. Let's go, let's go neon. Let's go neon. Let's see what neon does. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, now. That, yeah. It's just, that wakes you up a bit, doesn't it, really? So, a quick bit of colouring. I'm not going to colour all this in because um, I think you might all go to sleep, you buys on me if I do that. They're lovely stamps, aren't they, Jan? They're just, they're so, I mean, there's a whole range of them. Have a look if, you, if you're interested. But, um, like, even this one. Sunny day start inside. And then just a big smile. Just lovely. A whole, a whole selection of them. Um, right, let's now I've coloured this. What happens if I go over it? Ah, oh, now you see. Because the um these neons are quite opaque. And again, I'm I'm not pressing, I'm just doing little circular mo motions. And letting just letting the ink flow. You don't want to press down on these. If you press down, what's going to happen is that um, you'll get lines. But if you just do it, it's just glide, just glide. You can see how that is changing up this really soft, rather dull thing into something. Woo! Something kind of ooh. That's a nice thing. You see, you can just completely change the look of it with the colours, can't you? Now, how do you choose colours? Well, if you if you want to know, if you, for me, the way that I choose a colour scheme is quite often I will go on Pinterest and I will I will search um, for colour schemes. So I might put in purple colour schemes or pink or whatever. Um, because I, I I mean obviously we've got the colour wheel, that's really helpful. But sometimes you just you just want a bit of inspiration, don't you? Now I'm gonna turn this around because what, what normally happens is I've got all this wet stuff. For some reason I've gone right to left, which I'm I'm right handed. It's not a very logical way of colouring, is it? Because what's gonna happen? I'm gonna smudge it. So I'm gonna turn it round. I'm gonna Still using these. These are the these are the metallics in from that set that I showed you. And I'm just I'm just following the same colours. I wouldn't normally do this. This is just because I don't want to think about it. I'm just just colouring. What I did find was a bit odd about this set, as if as if my brain isn't confused enough, is that the metallics have got a sparkly glittery lid. Why? Why? And that's actually why I've kept these in the packet normally. All my pens get chucked into a, a Diane Reevely bag. 
but I've kept these in here because I want to just look, this is where I look to remember what the colour is and what the finish is. So my sparkly pens are up here. These are the Stardust glitter pens and the ones with the glittery lids are metallics. So, and I'm not using metallics, I'm using neons. So I'm good with my words really. <laughs> But, uh, right, let's, uh, how are we doing? I'm going to do two more. And I want, what do I want there? Uh, a yellow, 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 yellow. Let's see how the yellow goes. You wouldn't expect to be able to go over pink with yellow and actually have yellow, would you, really? And actually, it probably would need another coat, but that's not bad. I did press a bit. Uh, oh, now let's do a bit of yellow on the butterfly. And again, because a lot of these pens are quite opaque, even if you colour over the lines, uh, you can go back in. As long as you can still, still make out the lines, you can still go back in over the top and colour in. Oh! <gasps> Going off paste here, aren't I? This is not the colour scheme I started out with. <laughs> right, yellow, yellow. Has anybody seen yellow dragonfly? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Shireen. The, the mood definitely affects colour choices. Let's go for a little bit of pink. Now I'm very much in TB demonstrator mode here. I'm almost thinking I shouldn't show you, I shouldn't finish anything because you'll get bored, but I don't know whether you... I guess with it being a video, you could just... If, especially if you watch later, you just fast forward anyway, don't you? Oh, down. So I'm going to slam myself down a bit, not worry. But at the same time, I thought... I'm sure you still don't want to see you colour a whole thing in. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just do a bit, do the leaves. I'll do the leaves a bit of sparkle. And the sparkle pens, which are called Stardust, they are slightly more translucent. So, so again, you can go over things and you'll get the glitter and you'll get the colour. But you don't have to worry about the lines. You can just super fast super fast colouring which isn't what journaling is about journaling is about taking a breath and slowing yourself down and um, giving your mind a break not rushing so enjoy it and maybe if I move this out of the way that might be a bit overwhelming seeing that there as well so I'm just going around colouring the leaves super quick I really love colouring and it's something that I, if I'm going on a holiday, oh, do you remember holidays? <laughs> I always take some colouring pens with me because they're the easiest thing to put in my bag. I oh, nearly, nearly had a green butterfly then. What do you think of my neon butterfly? Yellow and pink, who knew? Lids on, remember always put your lids on. Oh, I can hear a plane. It's a strange sound. An airwell plane. Yellow and pink. Right, I've only got one more butterfly to do, so I might as well just, well, one and a half. Look, let's see. There we go. Use these soap pens so much, I think I might they might run out. Mm, mind you, there's only that much gone. You can see how much has gone from them. So I'll do that. I'll finish off the butterflies. You can see I'm not I'm not 
really pay much attention to the lines. I'm just doing my own thing. Now, what about a bit of blue on those circles on his wings? That will finish those, won't it? This is still wet. And if it's still wet, you've just got to be a little bit careful. So grab another piece and just make sure you can get the ink flowing if you're still waiting for your... Or a better idea is let it dry. Let everything dry. Pens on already wet surfaces, really, it's not good for them. Okay, so last few dots on this butterfly and then... Now the way I coloured the background on this was I just took a bit of a chalk cloud, whatnot. These are like a little sponge thing. They've got, put the lid on, it's not liquid anyway, but they've got a sponge at the bottom full of ink. And the idea is you just squidge onto the top with a sponge or you could use your uh, blending tools and then this is such a bright colour. I think what I did with this one is I actually spritzed it with water and watered it down but I'm not going to do that this time. In fact I might even just come in on this one as I've gone bright. Let's lift that a bit. Try not to smudge the ink that I've done, the, the colouring that I've just done, the pen ink. Pen and ink. <laughs> oh, well, that just lifts that a bit, doesn't it? Pat lid on. Oh, no worry, Lou. Yeah, we love cigarettes. Okay, so what I will just do now is give that a uh, super quick dry. And now what I would do is where um, I've been really quick at colouring and I've gone over some of the detail, a lot missed off a bit of his wings, um, especially around the words, I would then go in and just use one of my uh, either Micron or Uniball pens, which are lovely colours and waterproof and blah, 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 and just go back in and bring that back to life. Just again, take your time, have a bit of fun. And don't be too worried if you don't hit the line. Just take a moment to just go back in and make that those words just pop out. The words or images, whatever it is that you've you've coloured that you want to bring back. Again, do make sure that all the pens that you're going round, the ink is all dry because you really can ruin your pens, your Micron pens and whatever this is, Uniball if you don't uh, wait till the ink's dry and you can add a bit of depth if you want to, can't you? you used to do that at school, didn't you? Do you remember? Didn't, did anyone else do that at school? Spent hours writing bubble words and things like that and then Adding some shading to them, making them a bit three more, three more, three more, more three dimensional. So I could go along, do all that. I'll do all of the letters. It makes such a difference. It just makes them so much sharper. 
And if you wanted to, you could, again, you could do a bit of doodling, couldn't you? Add a few circles. Whatever, just, you know, if you're in the mood, just go for it. If you And again, if you, <laughs> if you go overboard, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Chuck it. Chuck it. Start again. Or flip it over. Oh, yeah, this is from the Butterfly Journal set. I showed you that. <laughs> Sticks hand in stickles. <laughs> oh. Right, let's have a quick look at the butterfly journal set and then I won't show you any more sets of stamps. But yeah, this is another one of the um, journaling sets, butterfly journaling. And again, look at how big that is to how big it is on there. It's so much bigger. But really good fun. Butterflies are heaven-sent kisses from angels. Together we will fly. Nice. Right, I'm just going to uh, take a second to wipe the stickles off my hand. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hi, Emma. Thank you, darling. Yeah, we all love our stamps, don't we? All stamp addicts, I know. Right, so this was the journal cover. And it is still wet. The stickles takes, I would leave that to dry for 24 hours. I would put that on the windowsill somewhere warm, leave that to dry for 24 hours. Um, and with this one, the one that I finished, I did quite a lot of layering. Um, and again, it depends how bright you want it. So um, if I've, because I've done quite a lot of colour in here, what I would probably do to, to pull it all in together is I would probably do a few little doodles or something on the background. So, and whereas I've put a layer of white card and a layer of black card and then layered up my um, centerpiece, let's take away that layer of white and see what happens and take away the ribbon, lace, and you will get a slightly different look there, won't you? So, and then if you wanted to tie it in with the with the background, you could just add a few doodles in the colours that you've used here. So that is um, that is how I I would decorate my journal cover. And uh, I'll just quickly show you, um, I did mention that I've, I'm doing a couple of classes myself and I hope um, I hope you guys don't mind me just doing a quick plug of uh, what I'm doing on my own page. Um, this is uh, a class that I've got running, painting class, and that's going to be on the 20th of March um, and it's called Daisy and the Bee. And the other class I've got going on is on Saturday and it's uh, lavender and it's uh, painting hessian and painting a really really this is a really simple technique i was surprised myself at how easy this was but i really enjoyed that so yeah i'm doing classes on my page um but it's really lovely to come in here and see what you guys are doing i do uh do try and pop in quite regularly and see what you're all up to oh thanks jan yeah you've got your kit haven't you love um so i hope you like the jelly roll pens i'm a complete addict with those i just adore them um the stickles, as I say, is fantastic. One thing I would say about the stickles is I would use it on the cover. I don't think I would necessarily use it inside. Um, if, if you use it inside on your journal, what I suggest you do is just dust over it with an anti-static pad because it sometimes some products that you use in journaling can feel a bit sticky even when they're completely dry. Um, and I know that some of the journals that I've done, when I've gone to open the pages, the pages have stuck together because various products that I've used, um, they just have a slight tackiness. And that is what I found with the stickles. I, I do absolutely adore it. I think it's a glorious product. And here I've gone around it with a black pen. Um, but uh, that's um, just a word of caution there. If you're going to use it inside, either um, have a, a layer of baking sheet or something between your pages, or um, just keep it to the outside cover. So um, as mentioned, if you wanted to, you can add more layers behind that. The, the layers, um, you know, they do make a huge difference. But 
just so just play about i mean what i think they call it auditioning now don't they i do a lot of um stitching classes as well and i know in this in the stitching world when we're putting bits together like this we call it auditioning which makes me want to do a like a jazz hands song and dance um so yeah play about with it what you know what do you like do you like the black do you like the white um i think as as one of you said earlier it'll probably depend on who you're in as to what what colors you want to use um and that is also the difference between here i've gone very muted very calm um to here i've gone like crazy um yeah so there's your mdf journal cover a really nice way of keeping your projects um nice and safe and it doesn't matter what how much layering you do on your pages this isn't this is going to cope with it and um you can use layers of uh, lace to tie tie the book together so it, it doesn't hang loose and anything that maybe is a bit bulky in there it just it will just keep it nice and safe so what do you think of that girls and with the other thing girls and gentlemen i'm not sure if we've got any gentlemen today the other thing that you could do is um i'll just show you one more thing if you're if you're still awake um right the other thing that i quite like to do is just take like a die or something and maybe go around it with a pen uh, you know if you don't want all that fancy die cutting stuff in the middle and stamping then draw a shape and I don't know you could um, you could colour that in. Uh, what have we got? Let's go with the white. I've only got I only put two paints on my desk. How um, daft was that for somebody like me who likes to go off piste? No, you don't have to. You could just just paint the whole thing. You don't have to add any other bits and pieces or stamping if you don't want to. Just get your paints out and. Do a nice bit of this. This is not a very skillful decorative painting uh, example. But yeah, just, um, you know, you've got all these dies that you've got. Get them out and use them in a different way. The other way that I would do it normally is I would um, die cut from a nice piece of card. And see, I, I'm doing this while the, the ink's wet and it's blending it, which I really like. I like that. And I'm also not trying to cover the layers of paint so I've kept the texture there because I we look a bit of texture I do look a bit of texture so I'm deliberately going over those black lines not that I would have not gone over them <laughs> if I tried I probably couldn't have not gone over them and that's quite fun isn't it and then once that's dry one of the other things I really love but it's probably, is it in here? It's my Stabilo All pen. That is a charcoal pen. Here's my Stabilo All. Is it now? <gasps> no, but you all know what Stabilo All pen is, don't you? So um, that's what I would use to go around the edge of that. Welcome, Veronica. I'm going. I'm sort of rambling on now because I thought I've um, I've done less than an hour, and I thought I've sold you a bit short, really. But um, so nice bit of uh, what's this? I thought it said a pasta pencil. I must be hungry. Paste pa pastel pencil. And if you've got charcoals, oh, I just love doing this kind of stuff. And just thinking about where the light's coming from and giving it a bit of shadow underneath. A bit of definition. And then you could actually do that on your stencil stuff as well. Bring out your, your pattern from your stencils. But obviously um, a pastel pencil is not uh, permanent. 
so think about that as well I don't think it really matters if you're using it for if you're not going back over it with other products it doesn't really matter you see the difference that makes just a little bit of pastel pencil Stabilo All is the pencil I would go to. If I'd probably put it in one of my bags or something else, but um, that is permanent. So if you used um, a Stabilo All pencil and got the same sort of effect, but with a bit of water instead of rubbing it with your finger, then when it was dry, you could do more things over the top of it and it wouldn't move. So I think that is probably, I've probably kept you all long enough. I'm sure you're all desperate to go and watch the budget now. Oh, look, I've got bits of paint on there from... I've smudged. So, what do you do if you've smudged? Where's my sponge? Right. If you smudge, smudge more. Blend it in. Make it part of you. Make it work for you. Yeah? Work it, baby. There you go. So, that's, uh, yeah, what you do if you smudge. <laughs> You can tell I do a lot of that. All right, thank you for indulging me. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, just having a little play this morning. And I hope you've enjoyed spending some time with me. And uh, thank you, Vanda. Um, lovely to meet lots of you. Lovely to see you again, those of you who I know. And um, have a lovely rest of the day. And um, go and play if you've got time. Go and play. Take care. All right, guys. Thanks ever so much. See you soon.